Jim, I know you are a big stickler for kayfabe and what it represents. In the late 80s, Lyle Alzado starred in a TV show based on him as a vice principal who was moonlighting as a... Learning the ropes! It featured a lot of breaking kayfabe scenes and showed wrestlers interacting outside of the ring. I know they had an agreement with the NWA and Crockett at this time, as it featured a bunch of the top stars, including the Road Warriors and the Horsemen. My questions are, what are your feelings on the show, Learning the Ropes? What was the general feeling among the locker room on the show? Uh, that was phrase poorly what was the locker room thinking about this do you remember it breaking kayfabe in 1988 i can only find com the complete pilot episode did you or the midnight ever get a chance to appear on it and do you have the complete series in your vast library good fucking god uh refer no i uh, i taped it at the time to watch it when it was available because I was on road all the time. I didn't watch TV from at least in prime time from 1982 until fucking 1991. Um, but I taped them to watch them. I didn't like them. I had to keep an eye on them. I, I, I kind of looked at that show like somebody snooping around my property. They weren't doing anything actively fucking illegal, but I wanted to keep an eye on them. Uh, I didn't, I, it just, that was the whole thing was, it was a fucking deal where they'd made a deal with the office that they could get talent because they were obviously either Vince didn't want to deal with them or, <laughs> or somehow what, what, what are you laughing about? I, I find that funny that it was like Vince refused to deal with them. So they just went to crack and he's like, sure. Well, Go no, I'm, I, no, I'm not even, I'm, I'm saying to you that they would not have been at that point, a, a television production company would not have been, would not have chosen the NWA guys as the first people they wanted to be on their TV show, unless for some reason there was some in somehow. Right. Uh, and that they couldn't be in the WWE or they couldn't work with the WWF or they had Hulk Hogan on the fucking show. So I, I don't know what I think it was out of Toronto and, uh, you know, and who knows what the fuck. The point is, we ended up having our guys appear on this fucking show where Lyle Alzado pretended to be a fake fucking wrestler. And I didn't like it, but it was the company was doing it. No, the Midnight Express and Jim Cornette were never on it. Stan Lane actually did some kind of scene. I've put it out of my mind now because it's been 30 years. What the fuck it was, but it was a brief scene where he was, you know, it, it was Stan, but I, I, I made it known that I was not interested in going to Toronto and being on a goddamn situation comedy, but they never asked me either. I, I don't, and, and I don't think Bobby particularly wanted to do it or would have turned it down if they'd asked him, but I remember that Stan did something. Whether that actually aired or not, I don't know because I can't remember. How long the fucking show lasted, but it wasn't, it, it didn't rival. I love Lucy nor Bonanza with its uh, fucking uh, hall of fame level writing nor longevity. When I was a kid uh, in 1989 it aired right after WWF superstars of wrestling on Saturday mornings on channel five. And it was kind of cool because you'd see the brain busters Arn and Tully on the WWF show and then learning the ropes would come on. They would be like in the opening and then there they are on the show. <laughs> So you like you couldn't really grasp what's going on. They look exactly the same here as they do there, <laughs> but the Road Warriors are here, and that was right when I was getting into the NWA. So it was kind of cool seeing like the Road Warriors and other people on TV. But uh, I, yeah, just, I, <laughs> I can understand I why you wouldn't it, like it. Yeah, it went at that point. I, oh, and what the uh, the other guy? I mean, a lot of the other guys uh, to be. I, <laughs> Past curiosity once or twice. I don't know that everybody was regular viewers. I don't know whether everybody thought it was as bad as I did in terms of the kayfabe thing, whether they just thought it was a shitty television show. I don't know. The guys made a point of watching all of them. And I think, I think you got 500 bucks, I believe, or something to, of, of that nature, uh, maybe 500 or a thousand or whatever. If you did the show, um, it, so uh, if anybody they figured uh, maybe they'll book me and give me a thousand dollars since they're going to do it anyway was probably the fucking thought 